Wow. I didn't realize this. Um, of course, I was only like eight years old when Kennedy was assassinated, but uh, I got a link in my um, email from, um, it takes me to Dave Hodges and the Common Sense Show. I do believe he's a reliable source, but what this is about is the common, it says, well, it starts off with the Common Sense Show is dedicated to a peaceful, nonviolent, Social and political change. Okay. Ominous communications takedown warning is a precursor to assassination and regime change. 1963 and 2019. Submitted by Dave Hodges on Monday, November 18th at 3.28 p.m. When communications are interrupted in their totality... Bad things can and do happen. This article exposes a deep state link that tells us that a total and planned communications failure is about ready to take place in this country. This has happened. This has actually happened before. It happened one minute before the assassination of JFK and for some time after the murder. The JFK-related communications takedown has special relevance today with regard to how the perpetrators of the coup against President Kennedy blocked a counter-coup attempt by taking down the ability to communication. I believe, based on the best available information, history is about ready to repeat itself. Now he's saying he doesn't know this for sure. He says, I believe based on the best available information that history is about ready to repeat itself. First, we look at what happened in 1963 and then we will tie this in to 2019. Six, this now is the subtitle, says six seconds in Dallas, 60 minutes in D.C. Dick Russell wrote about how communications failed following the assassination of JFK in the book, The Man Who Knew Too Much, page 570. Russell stated the following in his book. One minute before the shooting in Washington, D.C., there had occurred an astonishing breakdown of the telephone system. The official explanation was overloaded lines, but it was almost an hour before full service could be restored. While the Pentagon was placing American troops on worldwide alert. The explanation, now why? Why was the Pentagon placing the American troops on worldwide alert? I guess because their commander-in-chief had been killed. But how'd they know? The telephone lines were down. Good question. The explanation of overloaded lines makes no sense if the outage began one full minute before the President Kennedy assassination. But not everyone was impacted. J. Edgar Hoover had full access telef telephonically to anyone he wanted to reach. It is my decided opinion that it was also the finding of the late Jim Mars that J. Edgar Hoover was a co-conspirator in the death of JFK. I don't remember who Jim Mars is. I, I remember the name, but I don't remember who he is. From the death of a president by William Manchester, pages 195 to 196, Manchester described the phone call where J. Edgar Hoover called to inform Bobby Kennedy that his brother had been shot. 
Manchester further explained what was happening during this time period. The breakdown of the telephone system, which seemed so menacing, was an inevitable consequence of this compulsion to spread the word. It is impossible to estimate how many of the 1,443,994 phones in service in the Washington metropolitan area. That's a lot of phones for way back then. I remember at that age, we were on a party line out in the country. Yeah. That's when we lived way out in the country and everyone was on a party line. So for that many, a million some, just in the Washington metropolitan area, on November 22nd, were snatched up in that first half hour. Okay, wait a second. I Let's see. It is impossible to estimate how many of the one million so phones in service in the Washington metropolitan area on November 22nd were snatched up. Oh, like, yeah, you know, in that first half hour. But the Chesapeake and Potomac's Friday record of over a quarter million long distance calls is staggering. And locally, the phenomenon of what communication en engineers call, quote, the slow dial tone, unquote, a result of overloaded exchanges why are you breathing like that? stop it my dog's doing weird things why are you breathing like that? Don't breathe like that. Roll over. Lay on your belly. He lays on his back and it makes him breathe weird. Okay, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help it. Um, the slow dial tone, a result of overloaded exchanges, became frightening. Lines would go dead, return to normal when a sufficient number of people had hung up, and go dead again, and return to life over and over. <laughs> Sounds like my internet connection that I used to have. The pattern was repeated throughout the country. It became obvious that in a national emergency, this would be the first link to snap. So now how about, how about the internet? How about cell phone towers? How about the landlines that are still in place? There are still a lot of businesses that have landlines. Okay, it says after Bobby Kennedy's conversation with Hoover, his phones went dead, as did brother Ten Ted Kennedy. Okay, so you can read the rest about that. I wanted to get on to um, went into effect seven hours ago. Okay, okay. Okay, in summary, the assassination takes place, a coup against JFK has been completed, and the coup against America was beginning. A counter coup must be prevented. Preparing for modern day communications takedown, but following what? The following warning was passed along to the CSS by a trusted informant. CSS. What is that? Communication Services something? I don't know what that stands for. CSS. Let me look it up real quick. What does CSS stand for? Cascading style sheet. See, things can mean different things. 
Wikipedia, Cascading Style Sheets is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of dot dot dot. The CSS specifications are maintained by the World Wide Web Consortium. Some units, let me pull this up, that sounds about right. Cascading Style Sheets. Have any of y'all ever heard of this? And there shows a logo. I'll put the link to this in the description box because it definitely has to do with the technology of the World Wide Web along with HTML and JavaScript. Wouldn't you think that's what they mean? All right, let me go back to the article. It says, the following warning was passed along to the CSS by a trusted informant is for the whole USA, all telephone companies, and other data traffic suppliers went into effect seven hours ago. The notice is in effect for the next seven days with potential to extend the notice. Cited reasons, sudden breach of security, which could cause huge civil unrest. Ha! Ah, the rapture would sure do that, wouldn't it? They'd cut all communication. The Lord said nobody would be able to tell who has been taken and who hasn't. Everything will be cut. And they think they're going to do it. Ha <laughs> ha! He who sits in heaven laughs. Yeah. Psalm 2, check that out. It is only at the board level and top tech managers of the information control centers who know about it. And also it is the tech managers who have the information to do the cutoff, or this is supposed to be of or off, let's see, who have the information to do the cut of the signals or to do the cut off, it's probably of, to do the cut of the signals with obviously no harm to the system except revenue loss. Yeah, like we won't be able to get online and order something to buy, right? Consider this as fair warning that the telephone companies have have received official notice to prepare for an emergency cut of all communication by area or nationally. There you have it. I'll put the link to this and to that cascading style sheets and if you can come up with anything else that sounds better for CSS please put it in the comments. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and I pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that only your will be done. That nothing happens that is not your will. If you want Mr. Trump to continue on doing what he's doing, please, Lord, protect him with warrior angels, cover him in your precious blood, confound the uh, camp of the enemy, cause this this whole sh shebang to cease and desist, and, and let it all be done according to your will, and your will alone, in Jesus' name I pray. I plead the blood of Jesus over my computer, the internet connection, over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections as well. And with that, I'll say bye for now. Let's keep him in prayer. Keep praying. We want Father's will to be done. These things will happen. Things have to happen. But we don't want, you know, like, like Psalm 2 says, why do the people uh, imagine a vain thing? In other words, uh, all the leaders are doing their plans and they're planning this and they're planning that, but he who sits in heaven laughs. He's laughing at them like, ha, 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 you think you're going to get away with that? No, you're not. That's not how I got it planned. You see, he is in control. And if this is what he wants, this will happen. He also, it's all, also could be one of those pretend things that you wave in the air. And he'll appear to be, you know, 
No, not snoring. You know what I mean. Whisked off under a white sheet, and he goes underground. We don't know. The thing of it is, we do know the Antichrist has to come on the scene somehow, real soon, after the bride is out of here. So don't y'all worry. God is in control. Hallelujah. The end is coming. We're almost home. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and for knowing that his promises are true. Talk to you later. Bye for now.